But today's state leaders are meeting, trying to allocate millions of dollars to help the VTA and families repair wounds, both physically and mentally. KPIX 5's Justin Andrews is at the rail yard this afternoon. And Justin, of course, we know no amount of money can replace the lives lost. State leaders are trying to get $20 million to help heal. It was a month ago when a gunman opened fire, killing nine of his co-workers. Now the survivors and family members are trying to deal. The images and the crime tape are raw reminders of that awful morning just over a month ago. Nearly 100 workers um, witnessed this tragedy going down firsthand. And the long-term mental health impacts of experiencing something like that is, is truly um, unknown to most of us, uh, but something that um, professional assistance and resources can, can help deal with. That is why state leaders like Dave Cortese and others are working to get a $20 million budget modification voted on by both houses today and signed by Governor Newsom before July 1st. Making sure that location is hardened and protected long term is going to be very, very important and also so that employees feel safe going back to work. During a Zoom call just a few hours ago, local and state leaders said the funds will help in addressing the mental health needs of VTA workers their families, along with repairs and safety upgrades to the light rail system itself. They hope the help prevents future workplace violence. We know how important that is to keep our community running. And we know um, that as, as we come out of shelter in place and COVID restrictions and containment, um, now more than ever, uh, those trains need to, to continue to connect people across the valley and, and beyond. State leaders say if everything passes through, the 20 million will be available immediately after July 1st with a few weeks of lag time so families can look for resources very soon. And there is still no word on exactly when trains will be back up and running. We do know VTA leaders will be meeting today to discuss that. In San Jose, Justin Andrews, KPIX 5.